what up, Jiffers? El Plage back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. And I am finally getting around to episode two of No Man's Sky next. I have had a lot of trouble with my laptop today. I think it's on death's door. <laughs> I've done everything I can to try and get it working and I think it seems to be okay at the moment. So my recording looks like it's all good. And finally, I can get back to being this adorable little geck hero and explore this freaking planet. And I was so excited to do this because, I mean... Just look at this place. It is unbelievably beautiful, and I've literally just touched down. Here's the little shipper jipper. We've named him Jippy, of course. I mean, what better name could there be for a starter spaceship? It looks so cool. The animation on the ships, like, I think I mentioned this in the first one, but it just looks so good. The little movements and stuff, and the textures. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna, I think we're just gonna explore this place today. It looks like a really good one to explore to see a load of the new changes, because I can see some beautiful water over there. We've got lovely clouds. A ginormous freaking mountain with this lone little tree. This little solitary tree just peeking out from the top. He's like, I'll get the sunlight. I found a place. <laughs> so we're going to have a little wander around. Um, there are some creatures here as well. So I kind of just want to soak it all in you know, and have a bit of a blast. We'll probably explore this one for quite a bit because it looks really good. But there's some other stuff that I want to kind of try and demonstrate today with the animations and stuff. Did I show you this one? <laughs> the little geck boost is brilliant. Uh, right, can I, can I open these yet? Damaged machinery. There's so much stuff that has changed with like all of the machinery. Chromatic metal. So loads of people have been asking me how they get chromatic metal. I have figured this out now. So you drop a refiner down. You can just go into your quick menu where you would get a signal booster. Drop down the uh, portable refiner and then you put copper in the side of it. And that will give you chromatic metal. When you refine it, that's what comes out the other side. I think there are other resources that can do it. Ooh. Hello, buddy. Oh, the movement looks so fluid. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna go sneak up to him. I hope. He, shall we scan him? Let's see if he's, Let's see what his notes say. The improved notes that we've got now. I love that it does like an auto tracking thing on the scanner because that used to bug me so much. Uh, elderly passive al he eats algae. He must be going down to the river, huh? Highly fertile. Whoa, <laughs> mischievous. Okay, let's go and hold oh, the terrain, the hills and stuff. I still can't get over the, like, the draw distance, the render distance. Like, imagine, like, I know it's, you take it for granted now that we're playing in, it just looks awesome and it's like, it feels like it should have always been like this and you can't imagine ever going back to, like, pre-next now. That's how crazy drastic the change is. But, like, the fact that I can look over here. <gasps> oh, let's use this little nipper. What up, buddy? Oh, little blade face, huh? Oh, he looks kind of scary looking. Huh. Uh, he eats gravitino balls? And he's easily confused. <laughs> I know the feeling. I know the feel. Let's go say hello. Uh, I want to feed him. I want to try and feed a creature. We haven't tried to do that yet. Actually, no. I'm going to feed the big fella. Where's the big guy? Ooh, let's scan the birdies. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a giant pigeon. For anyone, <laughs> for anyone who's new to the series, and based on my last episode, it seems like there's a lot of you. Welcome. Thank you very much for joining the little Jipper crew. You can join the actual official Jipper colony if you go to the Discord link. That's in the pinned comment in the description. Uh, but yeah, for anyone that's new, I tend to basically just call any flying creature in the game a pigeon. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Stay still! Oh, gypped again. He looks like a moth. I'll get you, you little punk. Why do you think this is too good for my scanner? Huh? Oh, I bet it's because I'm like my scanner hasn't got upgraded range and stuff yet. He is a nippy. Look at him. I I cannot get him. He's too. Maybe he's too far away. Okay, all right. You you live to fly another day. Uh, okay, where were we going? There was something over here. Oh yeah, I wanted to go see the big creature. I want to go feed him. Ooh, I'll take this. Thank you. Sodium rich. I'll take. Him. Look at my look at my little geck. Like how awesome is this? Like two days ago, I was playing No Man's Sky just like always, and now. Everything has just changed. Everything is so different. It, oh, I can't go over it, guys. We're definitely going to go explore the ocean. That's another thing I really want to do. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I talked about this before in a video, but, like, the ocean in real life is my favorite thing, like, ever. Whenever I go on holiday somewhere, um, I'll go out snorkeling, and I'll just be out there for, like, eight, nine hours at a time just snorkeling. I'll just go and snorkel for, like, the whole day when I'm out on the beach and stuff. And it's, I just find it so mesmerizing. It's one of like the coolest things like in real life that there is to do, to, for me personally. So now the oceans have been drastically improved. You can get deep oceans now. We might not get lucky here. I don't know what we'll find. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Hey, ah! Oh, we could get into a sentinel chase. I don't know if you guys have seen this yet, but it's so cool. Oh no, no. He's like, no, no, I'll let you off this time. Whew. That's right. He knows I'm the gecko overlord. You do not mess with me. I've got an army of little jippers ready to kill you. Where? Oh, holy moly. 
Holy moly, look at this little forest. Okay, we're gonna we're we're running in there. We are so running in there. And then we'll go down to the ocean, I think. That's my plan. Yeah, we'll go we'll go like a forest, guys. How many times have I talked about this being a possibility? Being able to walk among a dense set of trees, like blocking out the sun above and stuff. Oh my god, these are some big old trees. I like big trees and I cannot lie. You other jippers can't deny. When a tree walks in with a itty bitty. <laughs> I should stop. I should definitely stop embarrassing myself. Uh, I probably won't though. Look at this. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. And the, like, this is what? What planet is this? My second planet? Second, I think this is my second planet, right? And it's, look at it. Like, it's incredible. We are. Oh. The, like this, oh my gosh, oh, I'm going to spend a lot of time taking uh, pictures here. We have got our mission, which is to go over to that signal source, but I just want to have a little wander around. You know, I'm a little geck, I'm out in the world adventuring, the world is my oyster, and it's actually a huge, interesting world that I really, really, really just want to walk around in right now, and just take in all the new stuff. <gasps> oh, look at, I love the way these, like, uh, the, the roots, I guess, the roots or the branches kind of, like, wind up around the whole thing there. That's pretty cool. I'm scared to, uh, I'm scared to mine everything right now, because if you get, we should probably get into a sentinel chase in this episode. I kind of want to show you guys how cool that is. It is something I had a lot of fun with. I also want to try jumping off a cliff. That's another thing I've been told looks awesome. And I want to slide down a hill, because the animation for those things have been, like, completely revamped, and it's so cool. Alright, let's go. Like, I look so tiny next to these gigantic trees. Oh my. I figured out photo mode. I don't know if I mentioned that in the last one. So all I do is hop into this. Um, oh, cool. Oh my gosh. Look at... Look at me! I'm like a little tiny ant next to these things. Oh, that's adorable. These are cool trees. Oh, this place looks beautiful in the daytime. I love that this planet is just like pure orange as well. It's like the perfect home world for me. Maybe... Oh, maybe we will build a base here. I don't even know if I've got access to base building yet because I've just started, but... This definitely looks like... I know it's only planet number two, but guys, come on. <laughs> it's beautiful. All right, we're going to go down to the ocean. That's what I want to be doing. <gasps> oh, holy... What? You've got an... Oh, that's cool. Okay. Oh, 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 my. Okay, okay. Swimming is much faster. Oh, that's cool. Look at me go. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, and then you hold X to like go up to the top. Okay, so they've definitely improved that. Oh, can I get through here? Oh, this is dangerous. I could drown. This this could be like... This could be it, guys. <laughs> oh, this is cool. This is very, very cool. Oh, no. It's a cave. I'm still in a cave. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I can hear something. I can hear some creatures. What's this? Hazardous flora. Oh, that's going to be a jipper snapper, isn't it? I'm on to you. Oh, I should use my little torchy. Torchy. Yeah. Ha-ha. Gek used Lumos. Hello? The, oh, every time I watch, I've got like a very tiny, tiny delay on the sound when I'm recording. Like, you guys will hear it a second before me kind of thing. And uh, I, it always makes me think my own footsteps are somebody else's and I'm like... <laughs> and especially when I'm in a dark... Like, these caves have been like really improved. And I've seen a couple of other people play. Like, there are some really cool caves now. This isn't even one of the like better looking ones. But just this... The water in the cave and stuff, and this like beach area that actually looks cool. Okay, all right, all right, we gotta get back out to the other side. Is that water leaking down from the top? That looks cool. I've heard there's, a, I've heard. So somebody was saying to me there's a bit of an issue with water at night time specifically. I don't know if that's a thing, uh, but we'll probably be here in the daytime as well, so we can check it out. But apparently it looks slightly different at night time to daytime, and it looks much better in the daytime. I don't know, so. I don't know how legit that is. And I know some people playing on the older consoles are saying it's not looking quite as good for them, which I guess that's to be expected. Um, but in the patch notes, so if anyone saw my patch notes video, it does mention on there that they're working on uh, cloud parity and like improving the older consoles to look as good as the, the newer ones, you know, the Pro and the Xbox One X and stuff. So hopefully everybody will be playing like the mega version pretty soon. Nice. And you guys know what they're like. They'll get patches out really quickly. They always do when they work. Like, oh gosh, I'm stuck in here. Okay, okay, we gotta find- Oh, we're trapped. Oh, I don't have my, uh, I don't have my plasma launcher, which is how I would normally get out of these situations. <gasps> Look at me go! Oh, that's hilarious. Look at me go. <laughs> oh, I'm just, like, falling down instead of, uh, instead of swimming. I don't know if that's meant to happen, or if that's just, like, the way I jumped in, but that looks kind of weird. 
Oh, I'm so gonna drown. Oh, I am so gonna drown. Oh, I am so gonna drown. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Woo! <laughs> that looks so strange. I love the jetpack boost, though. That is really cool. Like this one. Okay, right. Where do we want to go? I want to go... I kind of want to go to, like, the top of a huge mountain or something like that, you know? Ooh. Oh, do we want to... I... Let me go up this way. Let me go up this way. Yeah, I feel like being a geck makes it even better as well. Because I'm so tiny. Like, everything just feels freaking ginormous. And I'm, like, I'm just loving that right now. <gasps> we got a milestone. What do we get? What do we get? Give it to me. I'll take it. I'm going to take this. Thank you very much. What was the milestone? Setting out. Traveled 8,000 you. Okay, that's good. That's cool. We're making our, we're making our mark on history, guys. All right, I'm going to have a little run around. And then I think we'll come back in the daytime and maybe... Oh, no. Let me show you the hill. This hill slide thing, if I can do it. Can I find a hill that's sleep, steep enough? No? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't know if you saw. I don't know if you saw. It was only brief. This is only a little... Yeah. The little slide down the hill. I love it. It looks so good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to come back in the daytime because I want to see how cool this planet looks like properly in the sunshine. And then we'll go find a huge cliff to throw ourselves off. <laughs> okay. We're back and it is the daytime. And my gosh, how beautiful does this look right now in the middle of the day? Like the sun up, the beautiful blazing orange gla glass, grass, and this incredible water just flowing. And the water does look quite impressive, I have to say. Just seeing it kind of like gently sway around, float around like that with my little geck just looks like, yes, I've been taking a lot of screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> just between that tiny little clip, I ended up taking a whole load of screenshots. It just looks awesome, and I can't go over it. We're going to go for a little tiny swim, and then I'm going to go find a big cliff, because I really do want to jump off a cliff. There was a creature in here. I scanned it from a distance. Oh, okay. There's some more creatures that I haven't scanned. Okay, we got some fishies. Ooh, okay, okay. There's like a whole... Oh, look at the bubbles. I love the little bubbles in the ocean. It just looks so good. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Oh, there we go. We got him. We got him. Oh, they're little puffer fish. Okay, let's go actually swim over to one. Can we get to the... Woo Look at me go! I love... I whoa, 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 whoa. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? I lost them. <laughs> Chipped again! How did I lose the fish in like two seconds? They were just here. Hello? Oh, they're over there now? Oh, that's not a fish. Oh, that yeah, that, that's the creature I scanned from a distance. He looks like he should be on land, but he kind of like... Flicks his legs about and he has like little uh, flap things in between his arms. But I look like... The way he swims is kind of strange. He looks like he's struggling a little bit. It's kind of strange. Oh, we got too far away. So there is, I guess there is still like a, with the animals, you have to be kind of close to them still to be able to see them before they, uh, oh, where did he go? Okay, maybe he just died. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> uh, so I want to go find a big cliff now. That's like the next thing I want to do. Because I've been told that jumping off a cliff as a little tiny geck is a good thing. Uh, and I'm just hoping that wasn't just people that hate the geck telling me to jump off a cliff <laughs> to get me killed. Oh, okay, that's where I need to go for my mission. So I guess, should we try that one? I, this one looks bigger though, right? This one over there, that looks really... Uh, look, we'll try this one. A little cliff will do for now. And uh, I think this episode is going to be a little bit longer than normal. Because I just don't want to stop playing right now. <laughs> so we're going to do a slightly longer episode. Not too long, nothing crazy. But I want to explore this place a little bit. And then at least go to like another planet if we can. So, ooh. Ooh, the police! Get out of here. I didn't do nothing. Everyone, it's just because I'm a geck, isn't it? This never would have happened if I was Viking. Would have been too scared. I can't, why can't I? And there we go. Oh, no, we had him. We had him. We almost had him. Come on, get him. Get him. Look at me, you little safari geck. <laughs> I, oh, it does kind of look like I'm in like a little safari, uh, safari like savannah type place, doesn't it? Man, this, these things look awesome. Are they, hold on a minute. Are they harvestable resources? Or is that just carbon? They look like the, uh, oh, star. Yeah, they look, I was going to say they look like star bulbs. I need a hazmat gauntlet. Don't have it. Gypped again. We got nothing, guys. We're, we're like right at the... Oh, they look, the glow. Oh, that looks pretty. This is like so much orange going on right now. I love it. <laughs> I can't get over how cool the trees look. And the fact that there are so many different types of tree on one planet, which was just something that didn't ever happen before, you know? You'd have tr like you'd have a tree or maybe two types of cool tree before. But now there's just loads of different types of stuff on a planet, and it looks... I don't know, it just makes wandering around something I want to do way, way more. Okay, where was that thing that I actually need to go to? Ooh, wait, where's the cliff? The cliff's what I'm going to. There we go, there we go. We're going to... Oh, that ring planet in the distance. I like... Oh, that's such a... Like, ring planets isn't really something I was... 
really wanting too much. It wasn't something that I'd like super been thinking, oh, I wish it had ring planets. I thought, oh, that'd be really cool, but like not too much of it. But now that I've got them, I'm like, yes. It's just so good for like seeing it off in the distance, off in the horizon, like off in the sky. It just looks perfect. Here it is. Thank you very much. Okay, we've got plenty of resources. I don't even know what's going to be what my little signal source mission is actually going to be. We'll go to the top of the cliff, then we'll jump off. And then I'll probably run around, do my little scurrying about. <laughs> uh, do the little mission thing, and then hopefully go to another planet. I'll probably stay here for quite a while. I'm kind of just really enjoying taking in each planet at the moment. I know I normally like to go from planet to planet, because you guys like to see loads of cool stuff. But staying on one planet right now is just, like, I want to do it. Because there's so much cool stuff to see there, you know? Okay, we made it to the top. Have I scanned this type of tree? How does a tree even get up here, sir? Hmm. All right, where do we want to go? Oh, that's... Oh, look at that. Look at my kingdom! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, I'm going to jump... I'm going to jump this way because my mission's over here. So I'm going to do a little boost up. Oh, golly! Oh, oh! Oh, I forgot to boost at the bottom. Oh, I don't think it did the animation because I did the jetpack boost jump thing instead of just falling. Apparently, if you just fall off a cliff, you, like, flail your arms about. Okay, maybe we need to find a height. Oh, there we go. There's the slide animation, though. Okay, I'm going to go do the little mission bit, and then we'll come back. Uh, oh, actually, we're right there. Do we want to... Yeah, let's go Let's go see it. Where's... There were a load of creatures when I started. How many creatures are actually on this planet? Is it... I wonder if there's any like oh we got six out of ten already oh yeah that's that weird ocean creature i need to come up with a naming convention for uh, the jipper colony so like whenever i discover planets and stuff that was the big one wasn't it he lo he looked so tiny in the picture but it was huge when i saw him all right i'll go over to this i'll see what's going on and then we'll come back uh, probably to another planet we gotta keep exploring we have a change of plans buddy boys because i've just placed down a base terminal that's right, we have been told as part of the mission right now, this early in the game, that I need to build, 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 build a base, and they've given me a couple of new parts, so I've just unlocked some basic wooden components, something that was not even in the game before, and they look pretty cool, so I'm going to build, like, a basic little shack, I guess, uh, and we'll see how that kind of works. I think right in this little shrubbery area is going <laughs> to... Is bigger than me. I can completely disappear in the bush. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh gosh We've got to take a little look at that in photo mode <laughs> What geck? What are you talking about? There's no geck around here <laughs> Okay, if the Viking come and attack me at my home base, I know where I can hide. This is brilliant <laughs> Okay, right anyway enough, enough. <laughs> I get distracted too easily right. Let's build a base. Uh, why can't I speak? Jeez Louise. All right, we're gonna place down a wooden floor panel. Where I wanna, I think I wanna go like right here, in the bushes. I think that's kind of where I want it to be, but I don't want to ruin the bushes. How about there? Does that work? Oh, oh golly, oh that's cool. Okay, we, oh, I killed a bush. I'm sorry, bush. Okay, player is inside the object. That would have been a disaster. Okay, we got, we got. We, that's cool. We, that's cool. We got a little, uh, we got a little start of a base there. I like it. I think I want to go for the old. Uh, like L-shaped, of course. Of course it's going to be L-shaped. What else was it going to be? Oh, this is crazy. I don't know why, but like adding wood has just made me so much more interested in building a base. Missing components. Oh, I need more carbon to build my little wooden base. Okay. <laughs> okay. We'll go on a massacre. We're going we're gonna to just... Oh, wait. This, this was some copper that I had to mine, by the way. Um, copper nowadays is mined with the terrain manipulator, which I just got as well. So, yeah. We're making good progress today. All right, let me zip over here. Give it to me. Oh, oh, it's such a shame to destroy such a beautiful tree. Uh, we'll go for this little one. It's not quite as beautiful. Oh, I guess I could, like... No, but I get so much more carbon if I kill the whole thing, you know? I'm sorry. I am the destroyer of worlds. And this is going to be my... Ho We're going to have a... I've got a home planet. I claim that when I put that little terminal down. I claim that as my home base. So that's, like... This is our first ever home in the No Man's Sky next update. That's kind of exciting, right? And it's such a, like, you couldn't pick a better place than this to live. I mean, waking up in the morning and just seeing that on your doorstep, holy moly, the clouds just drifting by, the little blue, beautiful oasis down there. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, guys. Little beautiful places, little beautiful moments. Where's my base? Come back here, fool. 
I need a little scooter or a Segway to zip around on the planet. Ha! <laughs> a Gek riding a Segway would be great. Somebody please Photoshop a Gek riding a Segway for me. I need it. <laughs> uh, right. We want to build the l shape thing. So I want to go... Basic components. So carbon is the resource that I need for wood, which is really good because we can build a lot of big stuff now, right? Like a lot of stuff. Ooh, where do I do I want to make it even bigger than that? I feel like that's big enough. I want to. I just want to like a little tiny outpost. That's the kind of look and feel that I'm going for with this. I don't want to have some huge mega structure just yet, like encroaching on my beautiful little spot that I've got here. Weather warning. Oh no! Good job I'm building a house! Ha! You can huff and you can puff and you can rain all day, but you ain't gonna get this little geck to go away. <laughs> oh no. Cannot build missing components. I'm out of carbon again. Gypped again. Alright, alright. Well, we got the start of the base. I feel like we're doing pretty well. I, this is cool. It all slots together and fits together like super smoothly and super easily now. It's much better than the base building was previously for sure. Um, let me see if I can start putting a roof on it. Oh, we could go up like multiple floors. So many possibilities! Oh, I guess I kind of wanted the door on this side, really, didn't I? Oh, no, yeah, that works. The door on the front here. Oh, that works really well. There. So I need carbon for that. Okay, okay. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build this. I just wanted to show you that, like, we've got it and we can do this. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. The rainstorm looks awesome. Look at that. Oh, that looks crazy. Oh, that is a real storm. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we need to get inside the house. So it doesn't have a roof. Help me. Does this offer me any sort of protection? If I hide in the corner, please, please. All right, I'm going to go get some carbon. We'll build a little cabin. <gasps> Creature. I found him. Found the little jipper. Oh, this guy's cute. Armadillo. Hey, why, am I, why are you no scan? Come here, fool. Buddy boy. Hey, what is going on here? Oh, there we go. Oh, my scanner is not very good right now. I definitely need to get the scanner upgrades. I miss being able to scan creatures from, like, miles away. But we've got the little scrubby gear, so it's to be expected. All right, I'm going to get some carbon. We'll build the cabin, and then we'll come back. And you can see my little masterpiece that I made. Oh, this is great. I, this weather looks so cool. Terrifying, but cool. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're back, and I've made myself a beautiful little cabin out here on my little hill overlooking this beautiful landscape that I've got. And it ain't much, but I'm pretty pleased with the way that it turned out. I've used the terrain manipulator here to kind of try and build up the ground around it so it kind of blends in. It looks like it's been here for a while, you know. My little cabin out on the hilltop that's just been here for years and years and everything's kind of started to overgrow it. And I really like the way that that's kind of turned out. And that's just with me playing around for a couple of minutes, trying to make something that I thought was kind of cool. I've made this little, like, porch area on the front as well. I want to make this a little bit longer, but I need to unlock some more building parts because I want to get some posts so that I can kind of have them holding it up so it looks more natural because at the minute it kind of looks a bit derpy that it just sticks out like that. Uh, but yeah, I think that would be really cool. Like have a little porch that extends down like uh, out here over the hill and then just some posts like holding it up so you've got almost like a little balcony type thing where you can kind of like run and jetpack boost straight out if you need to fly off on your adventures and stuff. But yeah, that's what we built. It's, uh, it's, it's small, but it's something, you know, humble beginnings, our nice little home. And I'm pretty pleased with the way that it looks. So... Yeah, I'm really impressed with the way the base building works. If anyone hasn't seen, Sean Murray uh, just tweeted something that was pretty incredible. Uh, when they said limitless base building, they weren't joking. You can build a tower all the way up out into space, like right out to the edge of the planet's atmosphere. And he showed a little video where he, like, somebody jumped off of that and like fell for ages and ages and ages and ages and ages until eventually they landed in some water at the bottom like a huge freaking diving board all the way from space so yeah the things we're going to be able to build together are going to be amazing so that's going to be fun that's going to be a lot of fun i think uh, I'm gonna find a planet somewhere nearby at some point soon and I'll open that up and I'll share the portal coordinates and all that kind of stuff So the people in the Jipper colony can come there and we can just start colonizing to start building stuff all over the place That will be incredible. I like this planet I kind of want to keep this one as my own maybe for now, but we'll see uh, But yeah, we'll definitely find a planet nearby that I open up to all of you guys But the base building definitely seems very impressive with the few tiny bits that I've unlocked so far So yeah, that's pretty cool um, yeah, I want to. I, I don't know. I'm so proud of my little base, my little cabin. I don't. So, I feel like it's so fitting for my little Gek. He's the lord of all Gek, you know. But he's kind of 
sometimes that can be stressful. So you need a little retreat to just come and relax, you know. When the uh, the new Gek Order <laughs> gets on top of you, he just comes to his little hideaway hilltop retreat here, relaxes in the cabin, just takes a little look at the views, and takes in the surroundings. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'm going to get up to some busy work. I'm going to get some resources. I've been told to go and locate some buried treasure, which sounds quite a fun. So I'm going to do that, and then we'll probably fly to one more planet before we end the episode. But yeah, definitely very impressed. I'm, I don't know. I'm pleased with my little tiny base, and that's just with like a couple of minutes of playing around with it. <laughs> right, I'll see you in a second. Okay, we're back, and we're out in space. So I did a bit of uh, burying for some technology, and I was able to craft some metal plate, and with dihydrogen oxide... That was what I needed to make my starship fuel. So I'm out here, about to go to this new planet, and this one is a frosty planet. So this will be my first frosty planet. It's only my third ever planet, so it's all new for me right now, and I'm quite looking forward to this because ice planets were one of my top types of planets in Atlas Rises. So I'm hoping this is still going to be really nice for me. Fingers crossed, guys. Let's see what it looks like. I love how the terrain is accurate now from like out in space. That is such a huge... Oh no, we're straight into a blizzard! Holy moly, it's blinding coming down onto a planet like this. Oh, that's scary. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Are we going to be okay? Oh my... Ah! Oh gosh! Oh gosh, it's so bright I almost hit the floor. Oh my gosh, the weather effects look freaking insane! I ain't getting out of here. I'm staying right, right in my little shipper jipper. <laughs> <laughs> Looks deadly out there. All right, all right. Okay, we got some creatures. We gotta go. We gotta go explore. We gotta. Oh my gosh. We have got abundant flora and rich in fauna. Yes, we have hit the jackpot, guys. Oh my gosh. Look at this place. The storm is insane. Look at this storm. This looks so cool. I can't even see the creatures. It's like a proper blizzard. I wonder how long the. Oh, the storm's clearing. Ah, oh, praise be to the geek. That's what happens. The Atlas smiles upon the gate, you see. Best race. <laughs> the best little jippers. Look at them. Oh, he looks... Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. There is a lot of creatures. Okay, let's get Scannerooney in. I see you. Come here, boy. My scanner is so bad right now. Oh, I definitely need to get some technology upgrades. Uh, process is dirt. Oh, process is dirt. Ooh, it eats mud. Yellow blood. Oh, that's an interesting note. I love how the little notes and stuff now are, like, actually genuinely interesting. Oh, this looks incredible, guys. Look at this place! Merry Nextmas, everyone. <laughs> we found a nice snowy planet to celebrate Nextmas. And I'm definitely feeling like a kid at Christmas right now. Holy moly. There are so many of these little chippers. Come here, boy. Are you the one that I discovered? I want to feed one. It says... I said in the patch notes that if you feed them, they might get others to come near you or something like that, right? So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to feed you. Okay, you're my friend now. Oh, look at that. He actually bends down to eat it. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's it. Oh, look at it. He's adorable. Oh, they're all coming over now. Oh, look at that. He's like, give me some. <laughs> Please, I want some. I'm a good creature. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have a little army of creatures. Oh, I got no carbon left. I feel terrible. Oh, they do. They all come running over because I started feeding them. Oh, that's adorable. That's so cool. It's like when you feed pigeons or something, they all just start flocking around you. Oh, he pooped. <laughs> I'm going to take that cop right. Thank you very much. Can I take it? Can I take it? Yeah, there we go. Oh, that is so cool. They all just start coming over to you because they know you've got food. Oh, that's really nice. That's one of those like little special moments. I'm glad I like didn't see anybody else do that before I tried it. That was nice. Oh, they, they won't leave me alone. Get out of here, you pests. I've got nothing left. I'm out of bread. The loaf of bread is gone. I'm sorry. It's just like when you feed the ducks. <laughs> uh, have I? Why can't I scan you? Oh my gosh, my scanner really is bad, even at like this range. <laughs> okay, we got him. I want to scan all of them, all of the little jippers. This planet looks insane, guys. I need to, I need to like properly run around and explore. But I want to get all the little jippers first. We getting thousand buckaroonies. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That looks cool. Even though it's got a really weird head, it looks cool. Oh, it looks kind of reptilian with its, like, scales and stuff. That's kind of nice. Oh, my gosh. We found a big fella. I've got no problem scanning him from here, huh? Oh, he is... Okay, we're going to go say hello to this guy. Oh, I'm going to feed him. I'm going to feed... Look at me. Look at... Oh, that creature right there looks like the perfect steed for a gek. Oh, come on. Come on. Let me get on him. I want to get on him and take a picture. No! Okay, we'll just get a picture near him. Oh, he looks cool. 
Whoa, that's... Oh, my gosh. Look at the clouds on the snow planet. Holy moly. That is insane. I can't go over that. Like, looking at that right now, I could literally be looking at a picture of the actual sky. Like, that's... It's mind-blowing. Yeah, okay. Snow planets are still very, very good, guys. I'm definitely pretty pleased with this one. Holy moly. <laughs> oh, and we've got more creatures. I like his little stripy tail. What did his note say? Uh, grows wings before death. It grows wings. Oh, wow. That's cool. Oh, my gosh. There's a raptor. Oh, that, lo that looks pretty scary. I don't know if I want to... Uh get too close to this one. Oh, he just... Wah! He didn't grow wings before that death, did he? <laughs> oh, no, that's crazy. Oh, my gosh, he's got like a... Oh, that looks mean. Did it... What? Oh, no, it's actually eating him. You see the, like, the green blood. Oh, my gosh, that looks terrifying. Oh, that is so much cooler than the little predators we used to get before. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be coming near me, buddy. Get out of here! Oh, come on, Sentinel. You saw... I was... Oh, interrupting the natural order, I guess. I'm on the run! Come on, come on. Are the Sentinels actually chasing me? Oh, no, oh, no. I'm on the run from Predators, Sentinels... <laughs> That's what you get for eating my friend! Oh, oh, he looks kind of... Oh, no, oh, no. I'm getting popped. I'm getting popped. Uh, do we fight back? I don't know what's the appropriate course of action here. Oh, I did recover my bonus uh, multi... I should talk about that, actually. I got my bonus multi-tool that I got for the Xbox pre-order. And I have uh, and I got the 10,000 units. And I've unlocked the Xbox little helmet thing. So when we next go to a space station, I'll be able to show you what the helmet looks like when you're actually wearing it. But there were loads of people asking me on Twitter, like, how do you redeem it? I'm thinking it just wasn't active on the first day. I had to, like, load or something. But when you go to redeem bonus content, I did that. And then it let me just claim them. Like, they showed up here and I just clicked on them and that's how I got them. So that's how you do that if you're wondering. So, yeah. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay, we're going to kill. We're going to kill one. And then we're going to get in a sentinel chase. So I want to show you how this works. Because it is really cool now. Uh, da -da -da. I just hope I don't get wrecked by one of those little raptor things at the same time. Because I will die. I will die. Ugh. I need to get the uh, bolt caster. Get wrecked. Ugh. Come on, fool. Oh, they've got new armor. Oh, yes. We got it. We got it. I need the, I need the loot. No, 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 no. Come back here. Chase it down the hill. <laughs> oh, no. You've just got to get, like, rolling down a hill after the barrel. Come on. Come on. Give me this. Did I get the stuff? Project oh, I have to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have to, you have to break them open now, which is pretty cool. Oh, they're coming for me. They're coming for me. Suppression level two, huh? Oh, here they come. Look at them. They've got different armor. So the normal sentinels are fine. But then when you get the, the uh, when you get them actually chasing you, you get armored sentinels. Oh, the creatures are so cool. I want to just stop and look at them, but I need to run. So they should be chasing me now. Yeah, they're coming. Yeah, and there's the little countdown timer that I was talking about. It's so cool. They actually, look, they got no idea where I am. You idiots. <laughs> Suckers. Oh, no, they found me. They found me. I'm on the run again. And if I get in my ship, look, I'll show you what happens. You can't just hide in a little jiffy here because they ain't having none of it. They just, they're like, all right, we'll wait. Got nothing else to do. <laughs> so you can't even get rid of them this way. I could fly away. That I could like be a coward and fly away. And I probably will at some point. But I want to just do the chase. Because there's something quite fun about doing the little chase now. Oh, oh, oh. Run! Run! I'm just going to run. I'm just going to leg it. I'm going to try and hide in some trees or something like that. Or a cave. Oh, I want to find a cave. That would be cool. Is that a cave? No, that's a rock. Uh, cave, cave, cave. Any caves around here? I haven't seen a really big cave yet. I know they're here. Huh. Aha, smooth. Okay, that should hopefully... What if I hide down here? Will that help me lose them? Oh, they're coming, they're coming. They're searching for me, they're searching. I'm going to run along the cliff here. <laughs> Sneaky little get. You ain't going to find me, boy. <laughs> I should dig a little hole. I think I've lost them. I've lost them, I've lost them. Oh, they ain't finding me. They're back up there, aren't they? <laughs> Stupid idiots. <laughs> Gypped them! All right, cool. We made it. We made it away. I think we're fine. Uh, who else? Who? Ooh, new creature. Come here. Hello? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, he looks cool. Oh, he looks really cool. Scan, 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 scan. What's he going to say about him? Oh, no. Oh, how? No, 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 no. You're not supposed to find me. <laughs> Get out of here. How are you going to sneak up on me like that when I'm trying to scan a creature, you little jipper? All right, all right where do we go? We're going to run for the hills. Oh, my gosh. See, this is like, oh, this is so much more fun than like getting sentinels after you before. Oh, look at them. I can just see them. My poor little geck. His legs are starting to get out. Is this a cave? Is this a cave? No, it's just a hole, right? Oh, how cool does this look? <gasps> it is a cave. 
Maybe we can lose him in the cave. Oh, this is nifty. Look at me go. I'm like sliding down in my great escape. Oh, this is cool as heck. Okay, run, run, run. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are they going to be waiting for me this side? No, no, no. It goes underground. It goes underground. Yes. Okay, we could make our escape through the cave system. This terrain. Oh, there's like snow in the bottom of the cave and stuff. This is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, if they come in here, I'm so dead. Nearby toxins. What does that mean? Oh, no. Okay, there's some like toxic... What is that? Is that an egg? Hazardous flora. Oh, okay, I need a hazmat gauntlet. Oh, no, I'm getting toxic deaded. Oh, no, 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 I need to, I need to, I need to terrain my way out of here. Go, 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 make my own little cave. Oh, no, they're out there, they're out there, they're right there. Okay, they found me. Oh, is there a hole at the top? Oh, no, they found me! No! Okay, okay, we're in trouble, we're in trouble. Run! Oh, are we getting toxic? This is not good, this is not good. This has not gone the way I intended it to go, guys. This is... Help me. Okay, they've lost me again. They've lost me. Oh, they see they're they're like they're way smarter than they used to be. They actually properly come after you, and they do actually like they don't just say they're searching for you and like kind of waddle around not doing much. They like proper hunt you down. <laughs> Get me out of here! Come on, come on, super gek. Oh, these oh, the snow planets look awesome. I am having such a good time right now. Oh no! Oh no! I'm not having a good time. I'm having a terrible time. Terrible time. No! 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 Okay, okay, okay. Life support system's low. Okay, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it! Here we go. Here we go. Oh, there's a knowledge stone. I kind of want to get that, but I need to run. Oh, 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 oh. Keep moving. Keep. If I just keep running, I think we'll make it. Huh? Oh, that is nifty. Oh, no, 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 no. no. i got to stop for the knowledge. Knowledge is power. Guys. Oh, no! They're so fast! I keep thinking I've lost them, and I have not lost them. Critical damage taken. Critical damage taken. Oh, recharge, life support, recharge, life support. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, we're making it, we're making it. We are, we are running. This is like the most epic chase I've ever been in. This is great. <laughs> and I'm a little... Oh, this is where being a gek is a disadvantage because I've only got tiny legs. <laughs> I can't take big strides to get away. I'm never going to make it. Whew. Okay, okay, we're going to make it away. We're going to make it away. We've got we've to gotta escape before the episode ends. Come on. I'm, I'm like, actually, like, this is actually intense in real life right now. No, no, no. Keep running. Keep running, you worthless little jipper. Come on, work those legs. I can, I know you're, you're getting tired. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. Detected. Oh, he called buddies in. The little cheater. This is actually pretty tough. I have so lost my ship, haven't I? I've got no idea where my ship is. Ooh. Okay, well, I'm going to run. I'm going to run away, and I... <laughs> Hopefully, by the time I come back for the next episode, I will have escaped them. Hopefully, you enjoyed that one, guys. I am having an absolute blast with this game. Like, I cannot even explain how much fun I'm having. And we're still just getting started. So many things I haven't seen, done, or experienced yet. And I'm already just freaking loving everything. So, yeah. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying it, too. If you are, please do drop a like and a comment. That stuff helps like crazy. If you do want to support me that little bit more, I have got a Patreon and a merch store. Links will be in the pinned comment in the description. And, of course... <gasps> We made it. We escaped. And of course, you can also join the Jipper Colony today. And the link for the Jipper Colony Discord will also be down there. So yeah, join that if you want to meet up with a load of people and just talk loads of No Man's Sky stuff uh, and have a load of fun. So yeah. <laughs> Take care, guys. And peace. What an adventure. Just want to give a huge shout out and thank you to all of my current Patreon supporters. Shrock Majelli, Wyo, Madeline J, NTB, Ovin S, Tyler D, Todd Cook, Neil B, Anarchy, Vanilla, Rasmus K, Autumn Long, Lukash, Husband Vader, Amras, Dale from the Atlas Herb, Tyler Blazer, Joannes Anderson, Heath, The Portrait Dude, Akami, Mac for a Day, Ongrad, and Dead D Reza. You guys are the best. <laughs>